Hello guys, uh, it's Shahzib of Ridi from Game Logics, and this is uh, part 16 of how to make uh, Ludo in uh, Unity. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, I have, uh, uh, as I remember, I have uh, coded uh, the <coughs> start method, and I think that. <coughs> Uh, sorry for my throat. Okay, I have some problem in my throat. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, yeah It's hard, but yeah uh, There's no way for me, but uh, yeah I shouldn't have done the uh, recording in this situation, but yeah, it's uh, it's from a few days and then it's not getting better. Okay, so Yeah, <clears throat> it is what it is <clears throat> Okay, sorry for the inconvenience so uh, if I uh, if I remember, uh, I have explained in uh, the beginning, I think, uh, of the tutorials when I was uh, starting the series, uh, basically about what is a start method. And um, if you have uh, forgot, let me remind you: start method is basically executed when uh, our script is. Uh, enabled okay whenever our script is enabled start method is executed and it is executed only once okay in the lifetime of a script okay so if a script is uh, reactivated again and again okay we have some situations like this uh, when the script is uh, reactivated again and again then the start method is executed but the most important part is that it's executed only once okay so let's proceed in our game and in this tutorial i am going to code a few methods which are really simple and uh, why i'm doing uh, them why i am coding them first because uh, i want uh, to get done with the things they uh, which are simple okay so uh, the method is public wide uh, public void uh, exit method okay so this method is basically this method will handle our like uh, <clears throat> like if you guys are bored playing the game or if you have some important work to attend to then you would like to exit the game okay and by pressing this exit button so this method will get executed and first of all it will execute the sound manager button audio source and play yeah, so first it will execute uh, a specific kind of sound and uh, then <clears throat> it will e uh, activate our uh, uh, confirm screen our uh, confirm screen dot set it will activate the screen true okay so it will activate uh, that uh, confirm screen this one this one this one this one this screen okay <clears throat> and then we will have uh, two options to choose uh, okay so let me code methods for those as well uh public wide uh, Mm, no method okay so like you want to exit yes or no so again it will uh, play a specific sound uh, button audio source yeah a sound that is used for button audio okay and uh, then uh, no simple play <clears throat> okay so it will execute this method and uh, <clears throat> um, like if you choose no like uh, if somehow you have accidentally uh, clicked the exit button or uh, all of a sudden you have changed your mind that like uh, you don't want to quit the game okay so it will simply do uh, 
yeah uh, it will uh, deactivate uh, the confirm screen okay so it will deactivate the screen and the simple is that <coughs> and then again another method called our uh, uh, if you choose yes button then this method will get executed again uh, a sound yeah okay <clears throat> and then it will take us to our uh, to our scene um, main menu okay so it will quit the game I think I haven't uh, yeah <coughs> I should include the uh, uh, namespace uh, scene management okay <clears throat> because you are not being able to <coughs> because now we, we can use the methods and uh, data members whatever that are required for switching to or for, from switch uh, in switching from one scene to another now scene manager uh, scene manager class and then it's uh, <coughs> uh, static load uh, load scene method and uh, <clears throat> so now as you can see here we will give the name of the scene in the string okay in the string so the name of the scene is okay you should type the exact name as you have given to your scene i think i have given to mine main menu if i'm not wrong i will check that as well okay uh, <clears throat> yeah you can see here it's, it's main menu so this name and uh, the name that you are providing and uh, the method should be exactly the same otherwise it will create problem for you guys okay so yeah a scene manager dot load scene it's as simple as that okay and uh, another method uh, yeah but let's first create an uh, i numerator um uh, an i numerator for uh, a game mm. <clears throat> I enumerate for like a game completed okay so um, it will uh, let me think for a while uh, game completed yeah uh, <clears throat> yeah it's simple game completed coroutine uh, <clears throat> yeah so what is an i numerator an i numerator is basically used for like <clears throat> when you want a particular delay like uh, you want to uh, give a pause of one second or two second and then you want to execute something after that delay for that purpose we can use an i enumerator and uh, the way to do this is you will uh, you will use a yield statement yield return and then wait for seconds for how many seconds you would like to uh, create the delay I would like to create and it takes uh, the arguments and float okay so I will use the s uh, post fix it the end okay so yeah <clears throat> and uh, what it will do it will simply wait for 1.5 seconds <clears throat> like one and a half second <clears throat> 
um, and then it will activate the uh, game. Yeah, game completed screen. Okay, so it will activate this screen, game completed screen. Okay, after waiting for one and a half second, <coughs> we will call this from some other method, the score routine. <coughs> Excuse me. And there is a way to do this, okay? So yeah, let me create the method which will handle uh, this message. Like when, yeah, a match completed. Do you wish to play again? Yes or no? So, what we'll do if we uh, click the no button, and what we'll do when we click the yes button? Okay. So let let me code uh, two methods for this purpose. Let me deactivate it. <coughs> So one method is uh, uh, yes, game completed. Like uh, it will uh, ask, do you wish to play again? If we click the yes button, so it means that yeah, you would like to play the game <coughs> again. So a particular sound, uh, and uh, then it will again load our <coughs> not scene scene manager <coughs> it will load our scene uh, i think i named it uh, uh ludo yeah so it will again uh, reload our ludo scene <coughs> and this is it simple as that <coughs> and again for no uh, game completed method uh, no game completed okay and i am making these methods public because uh, i will assign them to those particular buttons okay if we don't do this we won't be able to access them okay <clears throat> and button life cycle methods yeah i will explain those uh, sometimes okay so simple a sound will be played and then scene manager and again if we click no like we don't want to play the game again so it will take us to main menu <coughs> scene <coughs> okay so now uh, one thing is left let's assign these methods <coughs> uh, to to their particular buttons okay so it's as you can see it's on click it's basically <clears throat> uh button has uh, uh, every button has uh, uh, there is a button uh, a life cycle like uh, the data the member functions there is a particular uh, life cycle cycles for uh, uh, buttons like like on click and uh, on uh, on mouse up on mouse down okay so these are yeah <clears throat> and we have some uh, and we have a few more methods <coughs> and uh, button life cycle methods okay like uh, uh, when when uh, when we are pressing the button like on mouse down when the when the click is pressed okay so that particular method gets executed and when the mouse up okay when like we release the click that particular method gets executed so it's something like that okay so it's on click like it doesn't depend uh, whether we are pressing or whether we are clicking the mouse clicker like we're pressing the button or you are releasing it it doesn't depend okay so it's simply it will simply check for the click okay as soon as the moment you click uh, the moment you click a button it will get executed okay so i think you got the idea 
so it's uh, it will get executed uh, for uh, yeah okay so yeah here the important thing is <coughs> the place or the object with which we have attached our uh, script you will drag that object okay here like game manager and uh, we will see uh, for the particular function like uh, its uh, exit button so we will see exit method as you can see if we wouldn't make it public then we won't be able to see it here okay so it's so now it's done okay so let's save it it's done the method is linked with our button and uh, yeah with the us button is for uh, yeah let's do the same thing <coughs> uh which one button is it so yes or no yes button okay so <coughs> mm, we'll, we'll, yeah yes method so it's done same for no yeah and you will click this plus uh plus icon here <coughs> you can say plus button okay <coughs> yeah my throat is completely messed up no mm, the same for uh, yeah, let's do this thing for the yeah. Um, <clears throat> we are done with the confirm screen, and now let's do this for this one. Uh, match completed. Yes. Match completed. A game complete. Whatever. Hmm. It's a yes, I think. Uh, yes game complete yeah the same is for the no 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 game complete okay so we have successfully uh, linked our <coughs> a method with with our particular buttons so <laughs> this is it for this tutorial if you have any confusions any problems okay about this tutorial if you haven't understood anything in this, in this tutorial let me know in the comments and feel free to comment okay i would uh, uh, i would like to help okay so if you have uh, like any problem okay let me know and uh, thank you guys for watching uh, this tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon and uh, see you in the next tutorial